Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will try to create different 3D geometries in 3D pictures in LabVIEW and we will do that one by one. So uh, I will collect all these within the tab control I think uh, where I can just place the properties of every geometry. So invisible palette I will remove the tabs. Oops not remove the tabs control plus z that's a mistake uh, i will remove the label so that i can not get that bigger name because i have already set that name to 28 point so let's just move that so first thing first is uh, go on to the graph palette and place the 3d picture so here is my 3d picture and now I can just go on to my uh, block diagram uh, pin that 3d picture controls in here and let's just play the geometries one by one in here cone uh, cylinder and also create height field as well so I think these are enough properties and we'll talk more about the others so and about create object let's just do this right now and we didn't want to set the transformation because we will do that one by one so now what i can do is i can just create a case structure in here and place that one by one so first i will just set the tab control properties let's just say my first one is box and then the second one is sphere and similarly i can add pages add page after that will be named as cone and then again add page after that will be my um, cylinder and similarly the last one will be add page after will be my field i can just put that field so let's just go back again connect the tab control in here so this will give me the first one is box the second one is sphere add the case after cone and similarly add case after that will be cylinder and add case after that is field so this is the last case so now i can just put them one by one within the case so here where is my sphere uh, then the next thing is my cone and the next thing is cylinder and the last one is field so now I can just create their properties like I can create control of length X create control of length Y and create a control of length Z and I can also choose the colors basically what I can do for that is I can go to 3d picture um, helpers and then color change I can connect that in here and connect that in here and create a control so this will also give me the flexibility of changing the color of an object so Uh, these are all the these are all for only the box so I can just align them and place them within the box only so these are the uh, settings for box and then what I can do is I can again set it to polymorphic vi selector that will allow us to change it to object rival connect that in here oops that's sorry connect that in here and now what i can do is i can just connect that with the, my 3d picture 
so similarly one by one i can just create their credentials like create a control and uh, similarly connect the color and connect it in here as for radius where is my radius this is for sphere and there is my radius and uh, this is for cone we can set its uh, control as for height as well as for radius create a control and connect that in here oops that's not the right wiring and uh, connect that in here as for as the radius of cylinder create a control and again create a control So and connect the output in here and connect the color in here and the last one is the field one that has so many options in here first we need to set its data and then its color and then we need to connect it then only we can get the output results so as for the base height create all the controls like the base height or um, create a control like column interval and then create a control for row interval or we can just drag it to create more space um, here we need to set its input data basically so what we need want to do right now is to create some fields basically so i will go to Mm, periodic oops periodic mm, 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 periodic sign pattern find it out in here place that in here uh, delete this out and what else I can do in here is using the outer product so I will use the outer product we are let's just find it out in here so that you can find out in the linear algebra palette place that in here and then the next thing is we need to set its properties as well so let's just create some more space we are out of space so now I will connect that now we need to get its outer product so just connect that in here as well as create an other copy of it connect that in here and here we will create a constant of order name as 9 as for both the order is 9 and similarly now we need to set its peak height that will be its amplitude and here we need to connect it in here and similarly the delays if we create a constant in here is 0 we will set the delay as 2 or we can just remove so now it is all set now we can connect that with our um, what can I say its level is create height field so right now if I just enclose that within my while loop view as icon I can set wait multiple by second create a control and oops I missed many things I need to put that one by one within these like height and radius 2 like height and radius 2 and on the cylinder here again we need to set all the things like height 2 and radius 3 is in this field as for field we have column interval we have 
base height we have row interval we have an amplitude so here are all our controls so if i will just create a control right now as we can see our color is black so if we turn to green so there we can see we can create our required things like a sphere i can change its color like red that's how i can set its color easily and change to cone right now the cone is basically we can also see it as a sphere the cone is right now in other direction we can also set their direction i think uh, for that purpose um, let's just see that we will go to graphics 3d objects transformations and object rotate so if i will just connect that in here oops i cannot connect that in here i can connect it after that so here and connect that in here set it axis to let's just say 0.01 so that it will rotate the object and create an angle create a control of angle um, now place that the angle in here so if I just change its angle as you can see in here now I can change 3d pictures cone as well as its radius so that's how we can create many objects and rotate and uh, make their angle like if I want to remove move the angle as you can see in here now it's totally moved and if I go to field right now now that's creating a problem right now so I will just set it to zero create the field right now I can just remove it to show the field basically so remove that as well and remove that just connect that in here and just delete this out now if I run my program let's just see that we need to create the field basically so we have uh, if I run my program right now that's not this height is 2 1 row interval let's just decrease the row interval of 0 0.1 and then we have a column interval of 0 0.1 but still this is not giving me what I want to see so again what we can do is we can set that uh, our property node and set our uh, invoke node sorry and set the autofocus go back to our front panel and as we can see here is our field but still this is not what we want to see if I can just oh sorry I didn't want the 3d picture in here I'll just delete that go back to my front panel run the program I cannot set it in here so I will very good let's just run the program now I can move my 3d object like this one so I can just change its color to red I can set the base height 1 so base height is removed amplitude is 2 3 oops so that's how I can set the field height in live view program I can now just change its base to 2 
and column interval to 1.1 that means that will be elongated so that's how it is right now 